Hello, Electro Jeweler Jordan here, and today I'm going to show you how to make superior liquid liver of sulfur. Well, it has a very long shelf life and it's super easy to use. I'm going to mix up a batch from Sulfur Flake, but these work well too, as long as it's 100% pure sulfur. Garden center type sulfurs often mix with clay, so avoid. We do sell sulfur on our website, or you can source it locally. Just make sure that it's pure. You'll need the following to make 200 ml of patina. This recipe can be easily scaled up or down. Today we are going to follow these two checklists because it's easy to follow and you could download it on my website for free. This checklist is for supplies and equipment needed and this checklist is a step-by-step -step guide for your patina making journey. Don your finest safety equipment. And number three, measure out the chemicals. So you're gonna measure out uh, 10 grams of sulfur. And in the flask already, I have 30 grams of sodium or potassium hydroxide, and I topped it up to 200 ml water. Now you're gonna bring up the liquid to boiling point, and then you're gonna add the full amount of um, sulfur. and you're gonna stir. Now if you have flakes, the flakes will sink to the bottom and uh, the reaction will start fairly quickly. Um, if you have powder, uh, I would add a little bit at a time um, so that the powder doesn't float on the surface. It's just a little bit easier to get started if you do it that way. I'm just gonna be mixing and this process will take about, uh, I'd say about 10 to 15 minutes total. Remember, watch till the end and I'll give you some additional info. Okay, as you see the reaction's going pretty quickly now. If you want this reaction to go a lot quicker, start with the same amount of sodium or potassium hydroxide, but maybe half or a third of the water. You add the sulfur and it will dissolve very, very quickly. But if, it, if that solution cools down, um, it will start to solidify back into, uh, into solid sulfur again. So what you would have to do is, you know, keep it hot and then add hot water to the solution to dilute it up to 200 ml. All right, we're at about the seven minute mark and never put your face over or look into the beaker. You wanna look at it from the side, see how I'm saying you don't want the hot liquid in your face. And we're gonna cool it and then we are gonna filter it. Sufficiently cooled down and we have this really nice bright amber liquid. And the next thing we're gonna do is filter it and that will get out any impurities, and I'm just gonna filter it through two coffee filters that I'm using an HDPE or high density polyethylene uh, bottle top as my filter. And because you don't wanna use uh, plastic like this, these clear plastic water bottles, they will dissolve very quickly. The pH of this liquid now is about 14. So you have to be very careful when you're filtering it, handling it, and definitely when you're storing it. If you put it into a water bottle, it will dissolve that bottle probably within 15 or 20 minutes. Now, when you are storing it, you could store it in a few different things, and here's a chart, and you could store it in these types of plastic, or in a glass bottle with a plastic screw top. Don't use a glass bottle with a metal top because it will eat right through it. Now for the additional info, I learned to make this patina in a Thai factory, and we used to patina hundreds of pieces a week. The exact way we used to prepare the pieces and apply the patina to get a perfect patina every time. So watch the next video.